What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 4 and as you can see I'm staring at the Hot Wheels car pack. I am actually very excited to play around with all these, see what they're all like to drive and of course to drift because that's what we do here on the channel. But I ended up getting these uh, yesterday and um, actually big big thank you to Turn 10 Studios and Playground Games for giving me a code for this and they gave me a few other codes that I can give away to you guys. So if you want to get this car pack for free, all you have to do is go onto my Instagram, follow me there, and then send me a DM on there. I will respond to the DM and I'll send you a code. It'll be chosen completely randomly over there, uh, but you do also have to have the game first. So make sure you have Forza Horizon 4. I'll give you the code, you just redeem it, and you get the whole car pack for free. So I have a few codes to give away. Go ahead and go on my Instagram, follow me there. That's pretty much how you're going to get a code. Uh, I'm not going to share it on YouTube because I can't really like send it to people through YouTube. It doesn't make sense. I just feel like Instagram would just be so much easier because you guys just DM me and I'll just DM you back with a code and that's pretty much it. It'll be very, very easy. Uh, so yeah, make sure you follow me there and do all that stuff. Now, another way you can get this car pack is if you have Forza Horizon 4 through the Game Pass, let's say you're paying for the Game Pass or whatever and you and you want to get it for free, these cars are actually free for the people that uh, are paying for the Game Pass. So you can just go ahead and download it and you can have them for free. And if you don't have the Game Pass, you can literally just join for a dollar apparently. So that's pretty nuts. I mean, if I didn't have the game, I probably would join it because I mean, it's, it's literally a dollar. So if you guys want to do that, you can feel free to do that. It's up to you. But like I said, if you want these cars for free, go on my Instagram, do all that. Link is down below, obviously, to my Instagram and it will be up on the screen as well for that. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the very first car here, the 2J ETZ or ETZ. I'm going to guess this has a 2J in it. I don't know why. I, I just want to sort of guess that it has a 2J in it. It's very weird and interesting looking. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, obviously all the Hot Wheels cars just look absolutely insane. It, it, it looks like it has a jet engine on the back of it. Is it actually? I, I mean, I honestly don't know. I don't know anything about these these Hot Wheels cars. I mean, there has to be some sort of lore behind all these. We'll see. We'll see what it sounds like. We'll see what, it, what this thing sounds like. It might as well just pull it out. It has a jet engine on it. It has a 2 with a jet engine. Okay. Can I open everything? Okay, that's literally the only thing I can open. It's just that. It's interesting having all these cars added to a game like this. Honestly. But yeah, it, it does have a massive turbo right there. Uh, a massive single turbo, by the looks of things. And, one, two, three, four, five, six. By the looks of things, it also has six cylinders. So I'm pretty sure this is just a 2J. Yeah, this is pretty much a 2JZ. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. What what sort of performance figures do we have for this thing? That's, that's what I'm looking for here. So let's have a look here. 639 horsepower, 8. 63 newton meters of torque it only weighs 789 kilos and it's mid-engine rear wheel drive now i've been thinking about it does this actually have the proper 2j in it because if it does we can get this thing to 1600 horsepower now imagine a 1600 horsepower car that weighs only 789 kilos Oh, this could this could be very interesting. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just drive it like this first of all. I'm just gonna drive it just the way it is now and see what it's like. It is the 2J. It is just by the sound immediately. Okay, it already wants to go sideways. I don't really just want to take this thing out drifting, but I actually just want to drive it properly as well. The Super hits around 275 miles an hour, I think. So I think this... This might be a little faster than the Super. I mean, it is open wheel as well, so... I don't know how that's going to affect it, but... At least acceleration-wise, it's going to be much faster than the Super. If you can get this thing to... Uh, the 1600 horsepower. That it can do. It's actually quite balanced now. The mid-engine rear-wheel drive setup that's on this thing. Very easy to predict when well, this thing is going to lose traction as well on the rear wheels. It's just, it, it's pretty smooth. The amount of power that it has now per weight, it's just, it's, it feels right. 
Feels nice. If they go to proper tune, this could very well be a very, very good car. What is it now? Like S1, I think, right? It's at the top of S1. Whoa! That is strange. Obviously, when we tint our windows in the game, on normal cars, we can tint the side windows, but we can never tint, like, the windscreen. This just has a tint all over. This looks crazy to drive. Wow. Oh my god. There you go. That's why this is fun to drive around something like this. Oh, I like this. Imagine, they just added this into the game. This is like one of the fastest cars in the game. Imagine, 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 imagine. Okay, do I want to slide it? I don't want to slide it just yet. I want to see how fast it is. So, I'm going to go back onto the main map. Because we have our highway to mess around with. Um, and just see how fast it is there. I'm genuinely interested. If we could put 1,600 horsepower into this thing, it would be absolutely insane. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Okay? I'm just going to try to keep, keep calm. I don't know about, like, aero, what this thing is going to be like. I mean, it's it just feels like it's got better aero than the, uh, than the Super, so I feel like it should be even faster. Um, right, let's go into our garage, or into our festival. Start messing around with this thing. Start giving it more power. Uh, I might also upgrade this thing to all-wheel drive, because I think as a rear-wheel drive, I might have struggle putting that power down. So I'm going to keep this as... I'm going to engine swap it, just to see what power this thing makes, engine swap, and then I'll go back to the 2J and see what it's like there. But I just want to see what this racing V8, or it was V6, I don't I can't remember what it was. 775 horsepower, okay, that's fine. Um, change the engine back, change this, that's already all-wheel drive, perfect. Uh, go into this, start upgrading. Start upgrading. 881. 926, 1,200, no, it's not going to go. It's not going to go to 1,600 horsepower. Come on, game, you could have done it. You could have done it. The 2J, oh, it's it's kind of annoying now. <laughs> I feel like this is still going to be very, very fast. We can have rally suspension. We can't really do anything drift spec with this thing. Um, should I keep the standard suspension? I think it is, wait, one sec. There are locks, springs, dampers, and alignment tuning, but I'm gonna guess this already has race suspension. Wait, what's the cage look like? Absolutely no different. Okay, cool. Um, as for everything else here, I'm just gonna add everything on. Our top speed looks kind of low here. Um, on that little graph, so I don't know what that's gonna be like. It's already on race tires, so I don't really need to change anything there. I will, however, change these wheels to be as wide as possible. So I need to put that power down somehow. Riding on 275s is not enough. Oh my god, look how wide those wheels are. Um, as for our aftermarket wheels, I kind of like the wheels that are on it now, so I don't really want to change too much there. We can change the wheel size if I feel like it, but I think I think it's fine. I think it's fine the way it is now. So, weight went up slightly. Power went up more than double. So, it should be a lot faster this time. As well as being all-wheel drive, so I can put that power down. Um, Right. Top speed says 222. I would have expected more, genuinely. 237. It looks like it tops out at 237. It doesn't want to go up anymore. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of camber here. I'll just leave that the way it is because I'm just testing out top speed with this thing. What if I lower this fully? What is this like, fully lowered? Yeah, it's not, not much changing over there. Uh, I like this thing just slightly more rear biased, 75% going there. But it looks at things, getting this thing to be even more rear wheel drive, it just brings our top speed up higher and higher. That's well, jokes. Okay. Um, should I just make it fully rear wheel drive? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. I'm gonna leave it like this, because I actually want to be able to handle it, so I'll leave it to 80%. Um, and I'll leave the diff the way it is, for now. I will change it, don't worry, I will do stuff to this thing. It says 238 on that, um, should I trust it? Sometimes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't.
Acceleration. My god. That is so fast. <laughs> right. Let's try top speed on the highway with this thing. This is definitely not not going to be a good car to drive. Okay. Start from here. I was going to say, this is definitely not going to be a good car to drive around a circuit. With this much power. I feel like I'm just going to spin. It's still not right, though. A little bit of slip. The handling is mad on this thing. It's very good. This 237. Blast past that 237 that it says it's going to do. 240. Did it take over? I think it ticked over to 241, right? Okay, top speed wise, not amazing. This thing takes corners like a champ, though. These wider wheels definitely help. But I stayed up there at 240. I really do wonder, there, there is definitely going to be someone that's going to make a tune for this thing. Starting to slide there a little bit. What are brakes like? Not bad. Got an M5 with a massive wing. He's supposed to drift in. Sorry guys, I'm just here to it. Oh my god! Oh, it's so fast. It's so, so fast. Wait, I want to see what its launch is like. We'll go from... 4k. Should I do 4000 RPM? Mad. It's really fast. It just gets up to like 230 so easily. I really wish this thing would have would have had the 1600 horsepower. I feel like it could it would have broken the game. It would have been like a new fast car in the game, 100 percent Because it's so so lightweight. I think acceleration-wise, at least, it would have. I think it, if it did have 1,600 horsepower, it would have beaten the um, the Shelby King Cobra, 100%. It's so fast at a straight line. Like I said, it definitely would be faster. That's mad looking. Yeah, I think handling-wise, this is a very very good car. The brakes are so good, man. Jesus. It's definitely because of how light it is. A little bit of sideways action. Trying this out. Maybe I should get rid of the um, the, the all-wheel drive and just keep it rear-wheel drive and see what it's like then. Yeah. It says 236.5 on the graph now. Um, it was 240 before. I think it ticked over to 241. I was testing top speed there. Yeah, this thing spins out so easy. Oh my god. Absolutely nailing that limiter. Oh, it's so much more sketchy now. <laughs> In sixth gear, man. It's just gone. Sorry. Uh. Okay. In sixth gear, it spins. I, t I don't know how I'm gonna be able to handle this. Um, <laughs> it's gonna start doing over 200 miles zero by the time I get like halfway through that bridge. I don't know, just spin. And slip the back end out. I told you. I told you exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, it's fine. 
There's another turn here. I'm going to try to take it. Oh, my God. I was so gentle as well. Okay, come on. Get that top speed up. It's a little slower. It's not a lot slower. It's so much more unstable though. Once it loses traction, it's just gone. It's a mad little car. It looks mental as well. There was definitely going to be a tune for this thing, like a handling tune. I think it's very, very good handling wise. I'm just not good enough to build a build a proper handling tune for it. But well, I think there's definitely going to be one. Slightly lower class, probably S1 the way it was before. This thing could probably put down some serious times. Just, just quote me on that one. 100%. It's going to be a very, very good car. But again, I just don't see myself driving this thing. I'm being like, um... Uh, let's actually... I, I'm just literally just going to look it up. So even drags... Oh my god, even as a drag car, supposedly it could be very fast. Now one last thing I'm going to try is one of these drag races. I just want to see how fast this is. Um, I downloaded the, the first drag tune there. Let's just see how fast this thing actually accelerates. It says 7.1 second quarter mile. And I want to try it. What is the world record? You guys can let me know down in the comments below. What is the world record for quarter mile times? And I guess short shifted. Shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so fast. I'm gonna try one more time without short shifting. That is absurd. Okay, that was bad. I I literally just hit the limiter the entire time. It's because I can't see. Like I, I, the the thing is not on my screen, so I can't tell. But I'm about to hit the limiter. It's mad. It is crazy how fast this thing is. I'm just gonna leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This 2JZ powered little Hot Wheels car is absolutely insane. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course, please subscribe. Follow me on the social media links. Those are down below. Especially my Instagram if you want to get yourself a nice free code for the Hot Wheels car pack. Um, like I said, it's this thing is mental. I cannot wait to drive the rest of the cars because I honestly think that it will be just as good as this. Anyway, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.